This is Deborah Quickpen. She's 10 years old and is fast rising to become a renowned chess queen. She started playing chess at the age of 3 and she has been to a lot of competitions both locally and internationally where she has represented Nigeria in Namibia and Accra, Ghana to win the African Youth Chess Championship at the age of 9. This feat qualified her for the slot under 10 girls to represent Africa at the 2022 World Chess Championship in Georgia. Deborah has also made history as the youngest female player to bag a woman candidate master title. She has won several titles and awards representing her state in many competitions such as the 21st National Sports Festival in 2022 where she won a gold medal and a team silver medal for Bayelsa State making her the youngest athlete and chess player ever in the history of the National Sports Festival at the age of 10 to win a gold medal. Miss Deborah's story is very inspiring to both parents and other young girls in this world and in this video we will show you how she got here and the journey moving forward. Yeah, you are the trophy girl. Yeah, hey. the trophy more. Yeah, hey. you are the trophy more. <laughs> From the first time I met Deborah last year, I was amazed by her accomplishments and I wanted to tell her story to the world. So this video is months in the making. The thing is right now she's not feeling too well but I was not informed about this till I got to their house because they are very passionate about telling her story to the world so that other young girls like her can be inspired to dream big. Alright guys, let's go in. You ready for me? Yes. I ready to tell you the secrets. Yeah. Hey Debbie, what's up? Good. Chess champion, Afa. Fine. <laughs> Alright, so Debbie, what part of Bayelsa are you from? I'm from Southern Nijo, the government. Southern Nijo. What's your name, your full name? Your My name, name is Quick Pen Deborah Ibimobuere. Ibimobuere. What's the meaning? The one that comes with good the things. The one that comes with good things. Mm. Wow. How is you having all good things? You have to have good things, right? Because they say with Asa's name. That's why you're having all this championships everywhere. <laughs> so Debbie, how old are you now? I'm 10 years old now. You're 10? Now. Wow. When did you start playing chess? Start playing chess at the age of 3. At the age of 3? No, I was at the age of 3. <laughs> I was still drinking, I was still drinking pop. <laughs> I was still a child at the age of 3. You started playing chess. Wow, that's beautiful, man. And Debbie, how has the journey been for you? Like, how has it been so far? Um, It has been going well, but... I've actually won a lot of things. I was, at the age of five, I went for a competition in Lagos, mm. Chevron recreational competition, and I didn't win anything, but I was still encouraged. But when I got to the age of nine, mm. I won African under 10 girls, and that's this one here. Okay. And they titled me, like, it's not a title totally, but it's a nom, mm. nomination. WCM, that's Woman Candidate Master. Okay. Then I'm still holding my title. Okay. I just need to get to any of these rating points, whether it's one seven or one eight. Beautiful. Then I might get my title completely. Let me pretend like I still understand what you're saying. But, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I get the story. The journey has been good. It has ups and downs. My name is Mrs. Quick Pen Berazini, Deborah's mom. Well, when I was a pregnant of Deborah, I we usually go to sports complex to train because the the chess hall and the scrabble lab all happens to be in the same hall. So as I kept on going for training at sports complex before, you know, I gave birth to Deborah. Even after giving birth to her, I kept on going there until Deborah started crawling, walking, and then um, started, you know playing with the chess pieces, sometimes she break them all, you know. But as, as time went on, you know, when she was about two years to three years, she started setting the board. At the same time, playing, making good or wrong moves. She started playing and then we noticed that she was going somewhere. So actually the coach bought her a learner's board, which my husband, you know, trains with her at home. When she gets to complex, sports com council, the coach trains with her. He teaches her some basic, you know, things in the game. While my husband also um, trains with her at home. So that's how actually she started building the game of chess, building herself. You practice on your own, right? From what I know. Yeah, I you practice also, my own. 
you have books that you read yeah chess books okay wow that's why you have, you have become this good you're always practicing yeah wow that means you really love this game man because when, when i come here what i'm seeing is just black and white stuff but to you <laughs> so why do you love this game so much what what's it about this game um chess is actually a good game you think like some most people think like chess is just like mm. it's just a game like it's just for for and that it's not they don't like the game that it's just rubbish i was like no that's chess helps like it's just like math mm. it helps think like it's very interesting mm. like many people have gone places because of chess mm. and i'm really to encourage more people to do what like their dream for so chess is actually an interesting game it's also helped me like i'm very intelligent in anything i do because of chess so chess helps you think better yeah are you saying that chess helps you like develop your mind? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, develop your mind. That's why I like chess. Yeah. Are you smarter than me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so, so. so David, that's that very beautiful. You know, I'm seeing your awards, your trophy, your medals, and see this medal. I won this at the age of this was 2019. Six. This was at the age of six. Interesting. Wow. At the age of six, I didn't even. I'll see drinking pop. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so David, I want to ask you a question, right? Do people get scared? Of seeing you when they see your name, like have you ever expressed ah this demographic friend? Ah. Yeah. Because if I was the one, I would get scared. If I see your name, I'll just run. I'll say ah this Deborah. <laughs> I'll give up. <laughs> so the people get scared of playing with you. Yeah. They do. Most people. Most people. And some as a girl, she's actually she was actually my teammate for the national class for festival. We, we played in Edo State. We did qualify. She was the last person I was supposed to play with. Okay. But she said that she's scared of me that she can't scared play. Of you. <laughs> <laughs> she made a good try actually. But it was me on run. I just <laughs> I just carry my stuff. I just drop it down. Anyway, don't worry. I give up. <laughs> well, so that that actually beautiful. I know you still have a long way to go. And yeah, I see the way you're pushing. Your friends are pushing. You. It's a very beautiful thing to see. So, Ma, how do you and your husband balance our education with a passion for chess? Because this is something a lot of parents struggle with. How do you make that work? Yes, thank you very much. It's not actually easy to balance the both, but we try as much as possible to balance it because chess is something um, she likes playing. She has passion, deep passion for chess and the education. If it comes to education, education is also super important. So we make sure that during school hours, during school period, we make sure that she, she gets that. Then during holidays, we give it to her um during holidays for chess she's stopping even in a in a, a school in a class and likewise uh, the chess as parents we are happy that she, we are balancing both education and chess for her because she's making us proud you teach me to play chess i want to learn yeah you teach me yeah and your how long will you take me uh let me say just if you're if you want to really improve in chess, just take it three years. Really because I don't know anything at all, can you teach me? Yeah, you can. You can. In case you don't teach me, I have this thing, Sha. I'm this one. <laughs> <laughs> this is my whole spot. I don't know how to play flute. Is it flute or recorder? You say you can play it too. Yeah. If you're not teaching, I teach you this one. Have I mean, you? All right. So, Debbie, I want to ask you, right? Um, what do you want to be when you grow up? You're at the age of 10 now. Yeah. Well, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a medical doctor. A medical doctor? Why? Because yeah. I like to help sick people. You like to help sick people? Wow, that's beautiful. But in relating to chess, what's your goal? What's that What's that goal? Uh, I want to become a woman grandmaster in the nearest five years to come. Who is a woman grandmaster? Um, okay. Oman Grandmaster is actually the best in the whole world. Wow. She's she's actually, I can actually name a woman Grandmaster now. Her name is Susan Poga and she's actually my role model. Susan Poga is a role yeah. model. You want, to be like, you want to be next to Susan Poga. Yeah. So now, what are some of the challenges that you and your husband have faced in this journey with Deborah? Some of the challenges my husband and I face is basically finance. Because sometimes when she has tournament outside the state. Some of them are not planned. So when it comes, we, we, are, we try as much as possible to reach out to individuals. You know, it's not easy meeting people, uh, you know, unplanned. It's not easy for someone to release something for you to travel with your child. It's not really easy, but some of them that are, 
her, some of them that actually have the passion of it would want to support whatever little they have. Government supports sometimes and also individual support and we parents too, we go extra mile to even borrow money from other from places to take our child for competitions. And thank God she's doing us proud. Then what are you doing? You're resting. I'm resting. You're resting. I thought you know it's a rest. That's the rest of times. This is a rest. Yes. You rest from chess. Yes, but not the time. Not all the time. I thought people like you don't rest from chess. Yeah. <laughs> it's but, not bad. That's the rest from chess. That's the rest too. But, but when you are sleeping, do you dream about chess? Yes. You I've dreamt like chess? three times. <laughs> <laughs> My advice to other parents is that when once you discover that your child has a talent, you should encourage the child. Encourage the child to do that thing that he likes so that the child tomorrow will discover his talent and become a better person and also a better person to him or herself and also to the society. What what's the words of encouragement for that young girls out there? Um I would say to all the young girls there, if you're if they're trying to stop you from your dreams, I think you should keep on pushing. Don't care about what people say. Mm. Just keep pushing your dreams out you. you. I promise you get there. Okay. Wow. Tell me to encourage all the young girls out there. Mm. Um, you say you teach me chess. Before you go, let's play something. I will just be here. We will not play anything. Let me show myself. I'm going to show her that I am Chris Wanda. I will show you chess champion. Let's see. You are ready for your king. You are for your king. Hey, this one can move here now. Is it this one? This one can go straight. No. I'm exposing myself. <laughs> Don't forget to story subscribers. Bye bye. <laughs> so do it now. Tell me your tongue. Use Ranger Delta story subscribers. Bye. Bye. You bye. bye. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe as we build a community of 100,000 people this year telling stories across the Niger Delta. Also, check this playlist here to watch more interesting videos and see you on the next video. Thank you so much for supporting. <laughs>